How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for a Pokemon battle video. I'm out of count, but I am still uploading. Yep, that's right, I have the power to upload something and schedule it up for you guys. So it is Wednesday, our daily upload is here. We have a match versus Necro or Necro Stevo from YouTube. Really awesome opponent. He's actually using a team from the LBA Draft, which is a Pokemon Battling Association. So, yep, and I'm also trying out Keldeo as well in this match. I begin with Keldeo, go for Taunt, which will allow my Pokemon to not get inflicted by Stealth Ox coming from Godfan, because Godfan can set up Stealth Ox. I do taunt the Venusaur coming in though, and that's okay because I expected him to go with a grass type move, but he predicts my solar beast switching in. Really good play, no reason for him to not go with a grass type move, because why bother when I have a solar beast? he could go with a hidden power fire that would do super effective damage. I recover there, expecting Windy Whip to come in, that's his Togekiss. And I knew that this was a specially defensive Togekiss, so I brought in my physically offensively invested Mantle Swine here to set up my own Stealth Ox here and hit him with a Icicle Crash. Fortunately, he does miss an Air Slash. A little bit of hacks right there, not going to matter. I could have gone for an Ice Shard this turn right here, but in case he wanted to switch out into a different Pokemon to take the Ice Shard, we'll go with an Icicle Crash. And we're going to take care of the Togekiss. The way he's bringing his Singshino named Mickey here, I knew that it might be Scarfed or Banded or Silk Scarf, which will raise your Normal type moves by 20%. I go with the Crush Key, expecting a U turn, and he brings back in Gonfan. I wasn't really sure about this play right here though, because I go with a Play Rough just to put some damage onto the Gonfan, but he has the Rocky Helmet. The Rocky Helmet is a item that will. If you use a physical move, that is, then you take damage when you're using physical moves, as you saw there. So, seeing that it's pointless to go with another play rough, I just go with my spikes to layer some more entry hazards on my opponent's side of the field. But of course, he has rapid spin, which will get rid of those spikes. So, yep, he goes for that move right here, and uh, they're gone. See, spikes are gone from the field. That kind of sucks, but I do want to get some spikes on the field, so we're going to sit up again. And he's going to KO me with an Earthquake. This way, I can go into Keldeo again, hit him with a Surf, or in this case, I actually went into Celebi instead. And he's forced to go with an Ice Shard, which has priority. I keep saying that word priority, but that's a big term for competitive battlement. Priority is when you attack first, but Gonfan is really slow, so Ice Shard will attack first there, and I didn't want to go for a grass type move because, of course, there's a ton of Pokemon that would take those. So anyway, I take care of Gonfan really good right there, I guess, and he goes with U-turn with Sinchina. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was a safe play by Necrosivo. Here I bring in Draco, my multi-scale, which is the ability for Dragonite. It's broken because if you're at full health, then you take less damage from attacks. But Stealth Rocks are up, so I take a lot more from that Sludge Bomb. Unfortunately, he's able to get off the Poison hacks from the Sludge Bomb poisons me and I get the Lumberry activated. After that Dragon Dance boosted Outrage, I am unable to take care of that Venusaur. This is why Necrosivo's favorite Pokemon is Venusaur. It's just he can take really good hits and it can do offensive pressure against things as well. 
So we see Mickey, the Sin Shino, coming back in, going for a KO slap, hitting all five times, all five times, excuse me. And I take that. That's really good. Really good. Thank you, Keldeo, for being really awesome. Unfortunately, it's not in its other form. But maybe in my future uploads, I can have it with the resolute form. This is the regular form of Keldeo. But I'll be sure to have it in resolute form next time. Unfortunately, my opponent has a Darmanican, which after Stealth House, I'm not going to take any rock slide to the face right there. Very unfortunate. I, yeah, just having Stealth House on the field, it just allows fast Pokemon like Garmanacan to come in and sweep. And that's exactly what he's going to do here. And I'm forced to go with an Ice Shard of my own, which won't do very much because Ice is not very strong against Fire type attacks. So, that was a great match that came out of the blue actually. I was uh, wonder trading some Pokemon there, and then Necro's Devo was challenging me to a battle, and then I obliged. But that was a quick battle. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'm actually going to have a series of videos talking about what competitive battling is. Just for those who don't really know what my battle uploads are, and like, it could be uploading, like if I'm uploading some things that are confusing, well, a couple of videos there will help you explain what competitive battling is. So, be on the lookout for those videos here soon. I should be back on Friday for my little trip to the mountains there. And I should have this up for you guys. So, alright, well, have a great day, guys. I'll come back at you with a series of videos talking about competitive battling. Alright, have a great day, everyone. Talk to y'all later. Goodbye, Sharon.